Yes, folks, being the scam watching geek that I am, I do wait for this report to come out every year. Now, I'm not going to go through the entire 92 page report, but I do want to share some highlights with you. First of all, fraud losses reported to the FTC last year totaled more than $10 billion with an average loss of $500. Here's a shocker. Younger people between the ages of 20 to 29 reported losing money to fraud more often than older people between the ages of 70 to 79. But when people above age 70 did lose money, the average loss was much higher. The top three fraud categories were imposter scams. These are the scams that include people claiming to be with the government, maybe a relative in distress, a well-known business, or a technical support expert trying to get a consumer's money. Number two, online shopping scams, and number three, lottery scams. Here are the top ways that scammers try to reach their victims, like you. Email is number one, followed by phone calls, text messages, and social media. And finally, broken down by state, Pennsylvania ranks eighth on the list of the number of fraud reports with reported losses of $224 million. The most common fraud in Pennsylvania was identity theft with an average loss of $440 per person. Now, if you'd like to read the entire 92 page report for yourself, I've got a link posted on my Facebook page right now. I'm Brian Roach on your side, WGAL News 8.